Hey coach, super excited you found us on YouTube um, in my messy basement, but let me um, tell you a couple things. First of all, go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better, that's the first thing. Second thing is make sure you subscribe, go hit that little bell so every time you come on, on YouTube, you'll be able to, to find all of our stuff and subscribe, that is really important. We teach our kids basically these dribbles, crossover between the legs, behind the back, and then combos. On perimeter players, they should have a move and a counter move. And I'm going to show y'all a little bit on that, how we train that in a second. But here's a big, big teaching point in my opinion. Anytime you change direction, you got to change pace or change speed, whatever you want. We use pace, change speed, but you change levels. You change levels. So when he makes a crossover here, he's going to basically plant. He's going to change speed. He's going to explode out, but he's going to drop, guess what? His shoulders to get into the defender. He's going to get his shoulder down. So when we're just doing regular zigzags, go slow. Boom, here change, boom, there, boom. Change, any change of direction, any change of direction, change pace, change levels. All I want to do is half court, let's go uh, crossovers first and we'll go over there. Ready, crossovers, ready, move. Move up, good, up, up, good, good, up, up, good, up, good, up, good, up, good, up, good. Good, up, good, 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 good. Now, here's the deal. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. You remember what I told you to start with? If they stop their feet, that ain't good enough. What you're trying to teach them to do is be able to plant and push. Plant and push. That makes them explosive. Okay? If you don't have explosive athletes, you better teach them to be explosive. Okay? Or, here's the great thing, coaches. If you got it athlete, teach them to be more explosive. There's it is right there. It ain't about what that kid can do, it's what can you get them to do better. So now, let's go back, let's go between the legs. Ready, let's go. Up, oh, good, nice, good. Good. Ball snap, ball snap, ball snap. Hold up a little bit, hold up a little bit, you're doing great. Did y'all notice every time they made a change of direction, what did they also do? Ball snap. To get what? Separation. Watch how many of your kids will make a move, and then when their first dribble is right by, guess what? Absolutely, after to kick it out of bounds. So you're drilling it. You're drilling it every time. Change of pace. That ball snap is a change of pace, because you throw it out there, you got to go get it. You got to go get it. Go ahead, baby. Go. Good. Up. Uh, good. Good. Nice. Good. Good. Up. Uh, Good. Good. Up. Good. 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 Guys, middle prep. How many of y'all know what really God gave you to your advantage? Because here's the deal. This is another I preach to my kids all the time. God made us all different. One of the biggest things I work with Kobe, Kobe's biggest advantage is his length. Okay? But most people don't train their kids to use their length. You think ball snaps is great for a kid with length? Oh gosh, yes. Okay. Oh, what you know right now? You're young, what's your name, baby? Destiny. It's a pleasure to have you, baby. You're doing great. Destiny, right now, what has she got? Great length. Great length. And here's the other thing: don't cripple. My, all my post players do this. Every post player does this. That's why almost every one of my post players, not saying anything because they're talented, have been Division One players. Because they're not big Frankensteins that we teach them to do this and everything else. They handle the ball in the middle of the floor. They do all that stuff because they get perimeter skills. They're getting this ball handling every day. So guess what? They ain't just getting post moves. They're getting all this stuff. Uh, let's just go a combo. Make a combo. Any combos. Let's go. Oh. So now they can put two moves together. Hey, you're going to have to do a three. When they do zigzags, they got to do a three. I do not like three, three. Thing combos. It should be only two, but to get them going back, they have to do three. They have to do three. Let's go. Move. Good. Uh, let's go. Pick it up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's okay. Let's go. Up. Up. Good. Up. up good. Nice. Good. Up. Good. Up. Good. Nice. Good. Up. Move. 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 Handle. Handle. Shot. Handle. Shot. Handle. Shot. Good. Good. Up. Up. Good. Up. 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 Good. Nice. Good. There. Good. Good. Yeah. 
Hey coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Make sure you go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better and subscribe and like. Have a great day.